guys. Hello, everyone. Holy moly. Let me figure out what I'm doing here. There we go. Now I'm back. Now I'm back. Hey, Eileen. Oh, thought I was ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> you look more ready than I do. Look at all your pretties on your screen. Oh, they're Whoopsie. on that screen. Right. Trying to get YouTube up. <laughs> Trying to get YouTube. Everybody behave over there. Trying to get YouTube up on the other laptop. I was trying to pay attention to some timing things tonight, and I totally messed it up already. Hey, Louise. Peace out a few things. Hey, Louise. Okay, my sound's turned off, so at least we won't echo. At least I have that taken care of. Yahoo. Hey, Susan <laughs> and Suzanne. What a nice. All right, get the phone out of the way before I decide to paint it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kath. Hey, Lori H. Oh, you guys, has your week been as crazy as mine? And I feel like I'm almost caught up and the crazy is about to start again because of Easter. Hey, Susan and Joanne. I'm about to have a whole nother house full of company. I'm like, holy moly. Goodness. Yeah, that's why I decided we weren't selling tonight because I thought I'm just going to wind up all the way behind. I'm almost caught up. I'm almost like there. No. No, we're not selling tonight. We'll start over Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I am not adding more chaos. Just not doing it. So, yeah. So, so for anybody who wanted to know, that's why. Have I sent you? I thought maybe not, Dana. Um, I will get you. Let me make a note. I will get it caught up tonight, though. Invoice for Dana, because I'm going to be finishing up shipping tonight. We were just talking about that, Louise, me, me and Patty, about like, what day is it? Really? I know. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, this week has been bonkers for me trying to keep track of anything. Where am I going to put this sticking? I had to take this to the shipping table so I don't forget. Okay. Yeah, it must be something in the water, Cheryl. I'm telling you. <laughs> and Jody. Oh, I think she thrives at 3.30 in the morning. She's just getting in the groove. She what? <laughs> Jody said, Patty created my shipping label at 3.30 this morning. What was she doing up at that, at that well, time? Well, my house is quiet. Everybody is asleep. Everybody is asleep. That's when magic things happen. <laughs> Yes, Ju Julie. Yeah, Patty's not selling tonight. We nope. will resume regular scheduled programming Monday. <laughs> yeah, but we're taking a little bit of a breather. But I still wanted to hang out with you guys. So, so here we are. Yeah. Hey, Diana. And welcome in, Julie. <laughs> I feel like I missed somebody. Kim, I saw Kim. Hey, Kim. <sighs> so, yeah. So we're just going to make a mess. Hey, Judy. Oh, Judy, while you're here, I'm going to ship all your stuff. Yes. Everything's going in one box and she's going to the U.S. address. I don't know why I'm so confused by yours, but it happened. So I'm going to get myself all together. Hey, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. But at the moment, I have all your things in one package and she's ready to go. I just want to make sure before I made the label. What's not to miss? Michelle said you missed me. <laughs> I always miss you. Oh, that was so sweet. <laughs> You're such a goofball. I'm already like, so when are you coming back? <laughs> Just saying. She needs one more person. In her <laughs> yeah, don't worry, Judy. I've got it all boxed up. Here's here's the thing, you guys. Most of you that have, I mean, there's always exceptions, right? Because some of you, it stresses you out too much or whatever. There's little silly details. But most of you, if I'm like really trying to be efficient and get all the things and make room, which is kind of what happened. Like I'm since we decided to do this every other week shipping for those that wanted it and stuff, I have to have a place to do that or I'm paranoid I'm going to lose things, right? Or misplace an order. 
So I have to have a, a dedicated space to organize all of that. that so I'm there. So sometimes I will pre-ship something even if you haven't paid for it. So don't stress out about that. That's a choice I'm making. So don't ever get like all flummoxed about it. <laughs> Obviously, I trust you because you've earned it. You know what I mean? There you go. Yeah, the brain and the fingers can't keep up. I'm right there with you, Louise. Ah. Hey, JMH, how are you doing? You're working on another order. Nice. Uh-oh, she can't find her waxes. Hmm. Now what are you going to do? Did you use all the vocabulary words? That usually just makes it worse for me, but just saying. Just totally saying. Hey, Vern. Um, so, yeah, I'll show you guys some of the ones I've, um, some will be redundant because I showed them to you guys the other night. But um, maybe I won't drop them. We'll see. Um <laughs> And then we'll go to Mary's house. She's been playing already too. I'm pretty zoomed in, so I don't know. And I've got I feel like I'm practicing. Right. In practice mode. Ooh, got, look at the green one too. I know. That's really pretty. And like um, this is actually a lot of blue, but I don't think now it's gonna show as blue. Yeah. So lighting is going to be key tonight. I have all the lights on because I wasn't sure how many to have on and how many not to. And it's really zoomed in and I don't usually try to do this. So I don't know about the focusing either. No, looks good. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, I never do that. <laughs> <laughs> So, and these, I love how these turned out. Look at these. Oh, that's really pretty. I don't want to go over the top on them. I want them to look like um, labels on a box. I'm thinking about putting these on some, like, cigar boxes or small wood boxes. Good idea. Just for, like, storing things in, I think they could be really cute. Mm-hmm. And this frame, I love how this frame turned out. Very nice. It doesn't show the different colors very well, though. It's definitely multi. There it goes. Multicolored. But yeah. Um, so you guys, all of you, Mary included, I might be doing lots of watching and a lot, a lot of uh, mistake making because. Me too. All, <laughs> all of this is here and I have all my waxes out. So. I don't play with like a lot of those powdered things. So it could all go horribly wrong. We'll see. Probably have more supplies than makes sense, but it's what it is. And I almost don't know where to start. <laughs> hey, Juanette. I think we all have a little too, <laughs> a lot more supplies than what we actually. Right. Hey, you Penny. Know, yeah, just fun. Yeah, but the problem is most of you know how to use the supplies you have. I cannot claim that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Because, like, when I tell you guys I buy things when they're on clearance, I'm really not kidding. Like, and I don't even know how long that's been in this drawer. Like, that's when I, like, for real, that's when I buy things. Because I can't pass up the deal. And I feel like I'll figure out how to use it someday. Thanks, you guys. So, Mayor did hers totally different. Like, before we get started, I do want to do that. You covered all of yours with what? Um, I used just some matte super heavy gel, which I use for a lot. And I really, it just was super thick, though. And I didn't have the other stuff handy, but I just had some Mod Podge handy. Nice. So nice. the combo of, of either either one of those or 
sometimes together, probably on the same brush. <laughs> nice. And then I use just use some black gesso, you know, once the medium dried, and I'm gonna use that as my base. And nice. I'm just gonna add some stuff to it and see what it looks like. So then and these are just some broken pieces I was practicing on. There you go. And I kind of really like how that turned out. So it's practice session for me. There you go. Mm -hmm. and, and full disclaimer, Mayor has pieces that I didn't do because she has some molds that I didn't do. So she poured some of her own too. Yeah. So um, if you fall in love with any of Mayor's pieces, that you didn't, <laughs> we're going to have to direct you to which mold it is. Hey, Wendy. So I base coated all of mine in clay paint. Nice. And it's the old school color. And then these ones I did in the same DIY paint, but I used um, French millinery. So it's like this really perfect lavender. That's pretty. Yeah, I love this color. It is mm -hmm. so, so pretty. Um, hey, J-Mac. But um, I really watered this stuff down because it's so pigmented. You can almost make it as fluid as water. Nice. And then it just, um, it just like absorbs right into the plaster, right? So mine don't have a sealer on them at all. I just put very liquid paint on them. If you guys want me to do one I, or two, I she can. did a she did a primer type thing, Susan. But yes, yeah. it really does have to have something on there because it's so porous and absorbent. Yes, yes. the yeah. waxes. Yeah, the waxes. Like if you, I am not anyone to teach somebody how to use any of this stuff, right? Because I'm still like trying to learn. But what I have discovered is waxes seem to have more movement to them, a little more playtime. You can move them around, fiddle with them, manipulate them. When you put them on these, because they're so porous, it's pretty much it is where it is. And you don't get that movement like when you put it on something that is sealed. That's one thing. I Shh. Carmine. Enough. Stop. Mine, mine, um, Lori, mine would be just iron orchard design molds. And I'm going to mute Mandy's here. I okay. just have to mute until she gets in. And then like this one is a Prima mold and which I really like a lot, especially the one that says Paris on it. And then the Rose one is a Prima mold as well. And so with the butterfly and this one, this one mold that I got all these from, you can see that very clearly. Your light's just glaring. There you go, right there. Oop. Just tip your hand towards you and the light won't glare. Tip your hand towards you. There you go. Whoa, wait. Whoa. Not that far, <laughs> you poor. All right, I'm going to play. All right, you play. I'm going to put it back on both of us just so. Yes, please. Like, the mixing is super easy, you guys. Like, I did no, like, you guys know I'm not the queen of fiddling, right? Like, I just have a tendency to jump in with both feet. And if it goes horribly wrong, then I go back and I try to, like, subtract things, right? Or do it different. But otherwise, I just tend to, like, dive in because. I don't know. I'm not afraid of things going wrong at all. All right. So let's see here. I just poured out a little bit. Mine's crumbling in my hands. So like literally just a little one. bit in this little plastic cup. See, in the gesso, that's not showing up too well. So I'm going to use a pigment. Use a perfect pearl while it's still sticky. And see, like, if I pour it back in the same cup, this dry, because it's the clay paint, this dry stuff will 
reconstitute and come back in and dissolve right back into it. That doesn't mean that I'm going to save all my cups for all the colors, but I could. Um, let me grab this one and this one because these are pretty textured. But it's literally like putting water on. But I found that that's the easiest way to get into all the carpet. Because otherwise, what I was noticing, because I tried doing the paint, just the paint on its own without thinning it. And it was like dissolving almost the plaster. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Which makes sense because it's not sealed, right? If you stop and think about it. But see how easy it is to get in and you don't have all those little white spots down there in the details? So this but is the... Perfect Pearls Metallic Gold over black. Nice. Over the black gesso. That turned out pretty good. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Get to my little bit of a shadow. I like the way that, that turned out. And that Pearl X, it's a little, little bit of a different... And I just chose to use, like, and I'm not a painter, you guys, like an artistic painter. So I have no idea what different brushes are made for what. I just picked something with long, soft bristles so that I could really load it up. And the water, like, since it's like water, it just kind of flows right off, see? But it just made life so simple. And I didn't have to worry about, I mean, i not trying to like totally flood it, but kind of. Mm -hmm. You figure out real quick how much is too much. There. And I don't feel like that was terribly time consuming for a base coat. Nice. Hey Lucy. hey, Lucy. Where can you purchase IOD clay? I know Jamie Ray Vintage usually has it. I feel like um, Debbie's Design Diary, she's the one, uh, the maker, the founder of it. Oh, no, sorry, wrong brand. Um, I think Jamie Ray, I would Google it. There's something, there's the there's one site, who is it? The Painted Magnolia or something like that. I have ordered from her. She ships, um, I'm trying to think. I don't know who all the different ones are online, but um, if they're an established website, I wouldn't hesitate to order from them. Just look around to like the different prices sometimes. I think I, um, I do have some of that clay. I have like three different kinds of clay. And I've made my own paper clay from a recipe online, but um, this is plaster. But um, I think I bought my clay on Etsy. There was a seller on Etsy that I found it. Nice. Yep. And every once in a while, there's one. See how that's real light on the top? Like it just doesn't want to take the color. So I just am like, okay, whatever. It will when I wax it. So yeah, that's that's how that's how much effort I put into base coating mine. But see, they almost look. But they're also probably different kinds of plaster because um, I just got in. I haven't used this one yet. I'm gonna play with this one and see if it gives me a nicer, stronger um, mold. And then I got this generic one. I'm going to see how it does. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then there's one more. Oh, what a liar I am. There's two more. There's two other ones. <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't played with those yet either. So, um, yeah. 
I'm nowhere done playing around with this whole plaster situation. I have the strips. They're still in all the packages. I've probably had them for like three or four years. I have no idea if it's still good, but. Right. <laughs> I'm going to try those one day, probably when I can open up a window. I'm waiting for the weather to be nice enough so I can go outside and set up um, a lot of my folding tables and um, just lay all this stuff out and just make a literal mess. Yeah, that's fun. So like some of these that I already did, I wanted to do, well, I didn't want to do that. Be right back. <laughs> oh no. I think I'm going to be slightly tinted for a while. That's all right. My fingers are usually a little tinted. And I'm just using some, some pink. See what glaze looks like on it. Why not? A little glaze there and there. Just a little. Okay, and I'm going to mute for a second, you guys, so I don't blast you all out. Alrighty then. So what not to do? Don't tip your bottles sideways if you're having trouble opening them. Ay ay ay. What was it? Was that ink? It's liquid patina and it's very solvent based. So uno momento while I, you know, do some tidying. I just used glaze. I don't know. I'd have to do a couple of coats to really determine if I like it or not. I've got the horrible shadow, so I'll try to work with my. It works well. Look what I did to the label. Oh, wow. Stain's good. <laughs> but you can see how dark it is. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Messy. So messy. I'm so messy. You have a soft brush. So what I wanted to do was put it on her and kind of see what it does. So since I have plenty on my paper, I'll just mop it up. Ooh, I don't hate this at all. And the wax is working as a resist which is exactly what I wanted. Nice. That's pretty. And it still has a purple tint to it. Cool. So let's do it on this. Oh, let's do it on this blue one. Uh, I'm sure it's soaked through, but the good news is I have like, this is the pad. I just set the whole pad down. Then I just tear sheets off as I go. So I will very soon be pulling the sheet up, but I'm not going to waste it. That's for sure. Maybe I will. Who knows? Ooh, that's pretty. Look how that one changed. Oh, nice. It's really glary. I might have to turn some lights off, but we might just make it work. Okay. Yeah. So let's go to Mayor's house while I tidy up. <laughs> All right. Yeah. If you guys have any ideas or if you guys see something on the table that you want us to do specifically, let us know because neither one of us is afraid to play and try. Right. And we all know that Patty needs guidance. 
So, well, there's yeah. that. Me too. I don't know. I feel like you have a much firmer grasp of these things than I do. No, I don't think so. But I like I like playing and learning what not to do most of the time. Well, that wasn't too bad, Michelle. It only went through two pages, maybe three. All right. Not nearly as bad as we thought. Cool. I'm glad you think so, Diana. <laughs> All right. So that looks good. I'm just trying to create a little dimension with some coloring. You can really see it oh, in the pretty. camera there. Your camera is focused really nice, I got to say. You got a good <laughs> Yep, you got a good focus going on there. Yours are coming through really nice. I feel like mine are just flashing out. Holy moly, that stuff is solvent-based. Whoo! Yikes. Stinky. You know, I don't mind it a little shiny. I know that glaze makes it a little bit shiny, but... So what are you working with? I think I missed. I was busy yapping. Um, well, so I, I, it's got the had the medium on it, which dried. And then I used um, my embossing pen uh -huh. and went over the thing and um, put some glaze on it. Nice. Just used the Distress Glaze, embossed it on there. And then because it still had a little bit of stickiness to it, I was able to use the Perfect Pearls on top of that but then i used the pen and just highlighted some areas and just using a couple of different shades gotcha so thanks guys i brought some kind of um some different colors because i'm gonna do a mermaid journal soon so i thought maybe i'll play with some fun colors too There's a green interference one. Yeah, yeah, Joanne. <coughs> hey, Toby. Hey, Toby. Let me get my little broken pieces out. I like that too. I kind of muted it a little bit so it wasn't shiny. Right. Maybe a floral. There's, I had a black one around here somewhere. That's the bullet. There's the black. I feel like I need to start using this stuff before it all just dries up. I have found two dried up bottles already. Hmm. 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 But I reckon that's probably what happens when you don't. Did you just say I reckon? Yep, sure did. <sighs> Beth. Beth was there. Beth was in the house. I reckon. I reckon so. It's hard to say that without coming, you know, with an accent. I reckon. <laughs> I don't know. See how bad it is? I'm, I'm like Northeastern trying to do a I'm Southern. It just doesn't work. 
doesn't work. Or Sandy. Sandy's Kentucky, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, duh, it says it right in her name. Oh my gosh, you're coloring? No, it's an embossing pen. Oh. But it's black. So it I'm hoping it gives me a background, you know, some depth gotcha. in it. Yep. Hoping. Not hoping. sure. Will, but hoping it will. You're you're coloring? <laughs> Have you seen my coloring? Is that why you said? It's no, I was like just like that's so, I'm not a good color person. No, it was it's to me it's very fiddly. Like I would oh, never yeah. have markers out and I'm like uh nope. Not today. There would be something though. I mean even watercolors people are good at it which I'm really not. I'm not. Yeah, I'll which I'll excludes play. me. <laughs> You know, a smart girl would probably have gloves on, but... Michelle said I don't even say reckon. She doesn't even say that. I don't know. Okay. I feel like it's a phrase I grew up with. Well, it's in the Bible. Yes, it is. I reckon. Probably don't see That's kind of pretty, just in gold. I do. Yes, it is. Oh, I might need more of this stuff in my life. Okay, so I'm going to be smart I enough not to see my brush. So here's what it is. Here's the packaging. And here's one I haven't opened yet. I have a silver one. So you guys, if I get totally ridiculous, it's probably because of all the solvents. <laughs> Iron orchid. Did I say orchard? Maybe. The word reckon. I reckon that the... Present yeah, the day is compare. Let's do. Let's do this one in that cold. See what it does. I like this stuff. So tell me again what you what you're using. It's gold. It's pre mixed pour art. This happens to be gold foil paint. Oh, okay. And then I have a silver one that I'll open and get into next. Nice. I feel like if I wanted these to really look like gold, I should have painted some with a reddish background instead of this charcoal color. So that gave it a green metallic in the background. So there's a little bit of depth, I guess, because of the black. Nice. Like an outline almost. Yep. Somewhat, I think, I think. Yeah, Mary and I were talking before we turned the live on that I feel like this is going to be one of those things that it's going to take us a while. Mm-hmm. To be like, okay, so I've done all the things I can do. I'm ready to move on now. There. Dear diary. It's a diary. I do like That's them. Nice. All right, let's do... Let's do you. Trying to pick out different sizes, different, different, different... So that then I can come back in and put antiquing gels and stuff on them. Louise said, okay, Patty, stop reading my mind. I was just typing, you should not try red under the gold and not do a perfect cover of the gold to make it look gold. Yep. Telling you, man, Louise and I can't help it. We are almost always on the same page. It is the weirdest thing. It's cool, but it's a little weird sometimes. Okay. Uh, why not? It is actually in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm looking in the King James version because that is what I use. And the one that came to mind was Romans 8, verse 18. For I reckon 
that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. But it's actually found numerous times in the Bible. So there you go. Okay. Where did you go? All right. It's so, easy when you have an app. <laughs> There's an app for that. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do the gold on the lavender and see what happens. I'm going to add a little bit of blue. There we go. It's the same, but it is a little different. That's interesting. Can you guys see that little bit of tone difference in it? You gotta hold it up closer. Okay, wait a minute. Hello, Donna. Hey, Donna. I don't know if the camera's going to... So this is the one that had the lavender base coat. This one had the charcoal base coat. Cool. I like how shiny and metallic it looks. Yeah, me too. And FYI, this is really aromatic stuff. <laughs> <laughs> really glad the baby's not in here. Yeah. Yeah, right? Whole new context. Good job, Michelle. Yeah, you have a plaster to solvent base, not uh, the plaster piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah. think I like that a little bit better. It's a little bit more blue metallic in there. Nice. Now you know you've got control of the thing. You can switch back and forth and make you big when you want to show. Oh, I know. <laughs> don't be afraid to do that. I, mean, I don't want to do that. <laughs> no. Warna, I bet it's not the first time your hubby's made faces at you because of something you did. I just want to put that out there. I love popcorn. Where's Maggie? Hey, Warna. Popcorn. Popcorn? Oh, that's popcorn. right. Maggie. Popcorn. All right, you guys. What color should I do some of the flowers if this is going to be for a mermaid journal? You know, it's almost like a domino size. I could probably add it onto a domino. It'd be kind of thick, though. Yep. Whoa. I just want to compare these different gold. Oh, there we go. These different gold paints. And see what does what. I feel like there's almost nothing, like... You can't do to these. You know what I mean? Like, is there really anything that's going to be, like, wrong? Other yeah. Than, other than spilling your supplies everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> well, accidents happen. Right? I don't know. I've ruined quite a few different things just, just because i don't like it doesn't mean it's not ruined though i mean it doesn't mean it is ruined you know what i mean yeah oh look at the me oh my gosh you guys such a huge difference okay so then there's this i thought i had one more gold i wanted to try do i or don't i i do this one i don't know why i brought all darks I'm going to grab my bin. Hang on. Hmm. Wow. I used a lot of that for something. I wonder what I did with that color. Oh, no. oh let's do the. No, yet, no, yet, no. <laughs> I may have to base coat some more things. Well, let's do the copper on top of the lavender. Ooh, that's a pretty color. The copper? 
Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so look at like that bottle is almost empty. That doesn't happen very often. I'm not sure what I was doing when I was making copper, but I liked it evidently. Oh, do you see the magicals? Yeah. Yeah. I I use them sometimes. The tubes and the um these little these little jars. Whoops. Magical. Oh, that almost looks like a lagoon, doesn't it? Blue Hawaiian. Hmm. We will have to try it. I keep picking up the bullet one and I don't want to use it. Yeah. Yeah, Vanessa, that is that is pretty cool. Ooh, like that too. Sure do. There we go. Holy moly, you guys, I am so messy. Not the tidy one, that's for sure. Not when I craft, that's for, that is for sure. Do what? I said not when I craft am I or, organized and neat and clean, that's for sure. Stuff this this is kind of normal for me now. Like if I was making a bunch of these to bring to you guys or put in bundles or what have you, I would sit here and I would do, I don't know, a dozen maybe different things. And then once I decided exactly what I wanted, then everything else gets taken away, subtracted from the situation. And then I assembly line. I go step by step by step. Nice. So it doesn't start out organized at all. I brought all the different things that I wanted to do base coats on so that we could, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to get anything else done besides base coating, but I want to base coat all the things. So this one is a Sparks by Prima. Oh yeah. I have a few of those. It's a gold. I think one of mine dried out though. I do like this liquid gold leaf. It is pretty amazing. And I did see you guys telling me to open a window. I should, but you know. <laughs> throwing caution to the wind and there's no children up here so there's that <laughs> Warna. yeah watch out Michelle don't be breaking things whilst bending over all right let's do her Ooh, that's pretty too All right. So is anybody else working on anything? While we're crafting and chatting. We know Cheryl is still hunting. Did you find your stuff yet, Cheryl? Are you still hunting? I need to move my camera. I keep pulling it to me so that I can see what I'm doing and I realize they can't see what I'm, there we go. That will be better. Now I can work and if you want to see, you can. I'm working on a journal, Louise says. Oh, nice. Leftovers Donna, Donna's doing. Nice. Louise, is it one of your Anna Green Gables ones? <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Is she doing Anna Green Gable ones? Yeah. 
I don't know. Part of I me wishes I had a twin or a clone, but then I'm like, I don't know. I feel like I would then double my to-do list because I would have higher expectations. <laughs> I like how this one looks too, I think, though. This one does look way older. And it's thicker, so it's a little bit um, gloppier, maybe is the word. Definitely textured. It's giving it more texture. Gloppier, is that what you said? I did. That's an awesome word. Gloppier. Gloppy. Yeah, you were busy today. We didn't have very many uh, dad jokes going back and forth today. It's, it's no, we did not. I kind of was like, you win, got to go by. <laughs> well, that's not fun. For I me. know. <laughs> It's very anticlimactic, wasn't it? Oh, when you're busy, you're busy. This has a little bit of uh, red undertone in the paint. Can you guys look at? I feel. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not shaky. I promise. But so, like, is that more of a mustardy yellow? Uh, yeah, it's gold? like old yeah. gold. Yeah, it's like like an antique gold. gold. Yeah, so, so far, those are the three different golds. And they're definitely each one their own. This is the gold leaf one. I think I'm still smelling the patina I spelled, too. In all fairness, that might be. Because that stuff's very, very solvent-based. All right, you get back down in there. Thank you. All right, that's you. All right, so you were this one. Ooh, sticky. And which one did I do with you? You were the paint paint. You were this. And this is a paint. I think this might be too dried out to do anything with. Is this supposed to be this pasty, you guys? Or did I ruin it by letting it wait for me too long? Is it something you could add a little bit of water to? I... Whoa, that just totally burped and flung powder everywhere. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh... Oh, Diana's at the beach. Nice. She's at the beach. Lori H. is organizing. Kath is putting tiny score tape on all oh, That's all you. I don't do miniature. Nope. I'm out. I have no patience. Oh, I did miniatures for years. I love it. No. Not Pelting this, rain. No. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Nope. Is that uh, outside, Louise? Or is that like a noisemaker? You know? They have the nature sounds. Okay. So it's kind of tropical, I guess. Can you see it? I think you can. Kind of bring it up a little more. Don't be afraid. Get close to the camera. Come into the light. There you go. Ooh, perfect. Yep. Like yeah, it. I think that's it's pretty. Playing, playing. Pelting rain. Yeah, we had rain the last couple of days too. Yeah, this one, this one is gonna be super stinky. Thanks, Lori. Me thinks. Hey Casey. Hey Casey. Is it a work day or a play day? I'm dying to do the silver, but I have to play with this one last gold. Maybe not if I can't get it open. Oh, I feel another spill in the situation coming. If you've never used these pens, they're awesome. Woohoo! Ooh, I am not going to be mad at this. 
Holy cow. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is going to look like it was dipped. Oh, that's cool. So this I got at Hobby Lobby. If you love it, everybody run to Hobby Lobby and get some. I want to do one on the purple too. I want to see if it changes because it almost has a brassy look. Somewhere between a brass and a copper on this charcoal. So now I real quick want to get this done so I can do it on the lavender and see what it looks like with that as an underlayer. This one's going to be fun to come back in patina. If the patinas adhere to it, that is. And as far as like paints and things go, and this is going to go pretty far, you guys. Um, this was only six bucks at Hobby Lobby. F1. Nice. Yeah. And granted, I don't know when I bought it, so I don't know how much it is now, but when I bought it. It's interesting. This is like the only thing that doesn't like absorb right into it. It kind of like literally almost makes a foil on top of the, the paint. It's interesting how it behaves. Nice. What's it called? Let me put the lid back on it and I will show it to you. But see, it's very like, it's like, like liquid metal and it's separates. So you have to shake it back up. It is called liquid leaf, classic gold. Casey, nice. does the Hobby Lobby have this in more colors than classic gold? Because now we have four of them to compare in the gold. And that's the classic, which is really more, it's almost more rose gold, I think. Don't you? Mm hmm Nope. Yep. All yeah. right. Time to do something grungy. Okay. You do something grungy trying to keep my don't know what because otherwise don't i'm going to lose track what. of what was done with what thing you know what i mean and you were done with that okay now that that's all right did casey answer hey pam I think only two or three colors he said okay hi pam Yeah, the last one, I like that too. That's going to be really pretty. It looks really fancy, like really fancy. Should probably shake this first. Uh oh. Interesting. So. I guess that one's pretty thick too. I was thinking this one was more liquid, but it's not. Never mind. Although this one is about dried up. Let's see. Let's see if we can salvage any of you. All right. Oh, I already forgot. I wanted to put that one on this. All right. So actually, I'm going to put it on that because that'll be a better match. Okay. So let's do you. Hope everybody's okay with a little quiet time. 
takes me a while to concentrate. I know, right? And I feel like I'm totally ignoring them in the chat. Sorry, guys. You both look too clean for what you're doing. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Well, I've you already been... caught Patty a little while ago. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to rewind and go about 10 minutes in and you'll see uh, a little bit of a train wreck. Look like an oil tanker. Uh, I definitely have have had those days. Probably don't need to do the back. Whoops. I think I need Where everything spills, my cord wraps around my chair that I'm working from. <laughs> uh, lots of accidents happen that way. Let that sit for a second. So how many people ran and got, did anybody, I should phrase that differently, did anybody go get painty things? Get what? Go get painty things, things to oh. paint to play. Because I've noticed when I'm watching people, it depends on who it is. Some people, I'm like, okay, so I got to do this while I'm watching so that I understand. Like, I need it. So You know what I mean? It's like it cements it in your head. Yeah, I can't do that. I don't know what it is about my brain that doesn't work that way. I can't grab stuff and, like, work along with people, you mean? Yep. Not during a live, though, usually. It's usually. No, a that would be hard. Because then you can stop and pause and catch up and redo. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> or throw away and start or over. Or throw away and start <laughs> over. Oh. What is yeah. this one? I guess I could have had this base coating done so that I could just start out with the other part, but. Aww, oh, that's well. sweet, Lori. That's fun. I have three of my grandsons coming over tomorrow. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Lori has her granddaughter with her. Nice. We'll have all five grandkids here this weekend. That'll be fun. Bye. Good, good night, Kim. Good night, Kim. Thanks for hanging out. You'll have five, you say? Yep. That's awesome. Yep. We have to start all over with uh, eggs. I can't find the ones from last year. Hmm. Now, did you do any um, egg coloring? Oh, decorating? yeah. Yeah. Yep. Those will get boiled Saturday morning. That's and then they'll, yep, yeah, they'll start getting here. And then we'll do eggs Saturday. Color the eggs. Yep, yep. I think Rosie's planning on doing seven or eight dozen colored eggs. <laughs> so it's going to take a minute to hard boil all of those. Do you guys ever do pickled eggs? Does anybody here like pickled eggs? I haven't had them. them oh my gosh. We have, like anything yeah, I we have discovered we like them. Oh, okay. So that's like a new favorite thing right now. That's why that's part of the reason we're doing seven or eight dozen is because then we have plenty to have, you know, make some pickled ones. And because it takes a couple of weeks for them in the pickling, whatever, brine, I guess. I like the old pickled jar, of the cracks and stuff that people use. Yep. Those are really cool. I cheat. I just use half gallon mason jars. Nice. And shove them in the fridge. I want to get into fermenting this year. See if we like it. I feel like I will. Because like I like pickled. A vinegary, pickly flavor. I do like that silver. Not going to lie. I went to um, my husband's. 
aunt and uncle's house last nice. year and she had pickled beets. Yep, I do those. And it was the first time I ever had it. They were good. Yeah. Not bad. Okay. I do those every year. All right. So this one I wanted to do. Oh, on fun, JM. Right? She's putting together kiddos' Easter baskets. Kath said, we started a tradition of creamed eggs on toast after Easter morning. Hi, Tamar. Oh, hey, Tamar. What is that? Hmm. Never like, heard of curious that minds really want to know what that is. Mine predominant. Oh, this is going to take forever to coat. Oh, well. Maybe it won't. We'll see. I think maybe this one I want to do less perfectly so that when I do the antiquing on it, it'll be a little darker. It almost makes me think of model car paint. Yeah, I'm surprised I have the patience for this because I'm not a... detail painter like yeah well you know you notice i'm avoiding the detail painting <laughs> i put just put a little little copper in the words any letters i yeah. like this paint you guys i'm buying a lot of paint my local hobby lobby better stock up I'm going to have to grab some of that. I like this. You'll have to take a picture of the label for me. Okay. Hobby Lobby is not close to you, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, it, it is. Before. It wasn't before, yeah. though. Right, right. Because oh. I was going to be like, we're going to be out tomorrow. I can just grab you one if you want. I'm supposed to go Saturday, but we shall see. All right, what else can I add to this? It was antique gold, a little Spanish, Spanish copper. I'll do this one a little bit. Where's the one I ruined? And this one's still not, like, it's a little wet still because I thinned out that paint so much when I base coated. The plaster's still a little damp, so I think... It might interact with this gold leaf paint in a different way, which is kind of, I'm curious to see what it does. The floral markdowns, Casey, at Hobby Lobby, because, man, I was just telling my sister that the prices just seem like they are got higher on their flowers. But I know some of the little container ones, like in vases, I did see a bunch of those. Well, and it's interesting, too, because it's like not all stores do the same markdown at the same price, at the same time. Yeah. Like, even in a state, like, I could go to one south of me, and it'll be one price, and I could go to the one the same distance away from me north, and it'll be not marked down at all yet. Once I see those like tags they put on them, you know, the ones that show like the markdown. Yep. I'm like uber sensitive when I'm walking around, especially over by the the art stuff, you know. Yep. I'm like, okay, yep. what anything down here? Uh-huh. That looks kind of grungy, huh? Oh, it looks good. Hold it up where we can see it. Can you see it? Can you see it? I'm trying to. Did my light go out? Good job. I like that. Just little touches. Chocolate eggs. Yeah. No, I'm so weird about chocolate, you guys. I'm kind of a buzzkill on chocolate. A little bit of fuss bucket. I 
I do like this stuff a lot. Not going to lie. That is really nice. I am definitely getting some of that. That's cool. And you see how easily it went on. Now, like, remember when I said the plaster was a little wet? It almost resisted in a few places. See, like, on the middle initial where it's, like, still looks gray? It is gray. Yeah, but I like that. Yeah, it resisted it. All right, so now I'm done with my oh, I like that one. Okay. Let's get some of these. All right, so where's the one? We need that because I spilled that all over the place. Let's play with that again. Oh, ta-da. Mm. See how it opens when you're careful? You guys, like hardly <laughs> any of it. You still have almost a whole bottle and it was like... Ugh. Stuff is like oil. So know that. All right, let's do you first. Let's see what you do. And I'm not sure what order I should be doing this. If I wanted to put other colors of waxes on, should I be doing that before this? Or can I just come, I guess we'll find out. Just layer it up, Patty, see what happens. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I'm like, well, I'm just going to. And then he needs to list all of the products you use to make these things. You can. Should snap a picture and put it in the group with what you that. used. Very nice. All right, we'll let that dry for a minute. That main thing's a little gummy. We'll let that dry for a minute. Then we'll put this on you. All right. She ended up with a little dimple right there. You know, it's a beauty mark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the plaster pole. <laughs> yep. Oh. It's been around for thousands of years, don't you know? What plaster? No, no, your your girl there. Oh. She should have a few dimples. She should have a few. Yep. Can't let me say that one. All right. Well, I almost like her really dark like that. I do too. All right, so I'm just going to mop off the wet stuff and leave her really dark. Let's try it on you since we've already got just so on you. Whoa. You need some mixing, girl. Now, what happened to you? I thought this stuff would be good too. We got the distress mica spray. Oh, nice. But I'm not going to spray it. It should do side to side, but. Right, Wendy? Oh, look at how that turned. I like that. That one was with the. Uh... The Prima Spark paint and then the Pentart, uh, what you call it, over the top. Have fun watching your movie, Casey. Good night. Happy Easter. Yeah, all that stuff. All that stuff. Ooh, look at that. The copper, that coppery one. I'm probably giving Michelle seizures, you guys, just so you know. Well, not seizures, 
fits. She's probably having, she's yelling at me. No, no, not yet. I'm willing to bet that's what's happening. All right, I'll see what these things do. Happy birthday, Casey. Yeah. Is he still here? I could do birthday balloons if you're still here, but I got to end the confetti. But if you're gone, then we're not going to celebrate. It's no fun celebrating without you. Daddy, we need balloons, Louise said. Okay. <laughs> here it goes. Don't go anywhere. There's the confetti. Woo! There's fireworks. Yay. Ooh, ah, look at those. I'm bullet. <laughs> happy, happy birthday, Casey. No, we're not going to be like the resident. Happy, happy, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't do that again. Okay. Nice, Pam. Oh, I like that on the silver, too. Look at how that goes. Oh. Yeah, I'm so not mad that I spilled this. Look, look at that. These are so much better in person, you guys. Like, No, they look awesome right now. So I can't imagine it would be better in person. That's awesome. That's great. Almost looks like pewter, not quite. Oops, be careful. I'm kind of, as I'm going, I realize I'm flicking this stuff everywhere. Yeah, I don't want it to get on my computer. I don't think I have anything in front of me that it really matters. Just know that these really liquid ones, you can splatter paint with them unintentionally really easily. Yeah, I keep thinking all the girls that do mixed media stuff and know what all this stuff is and what all this stuff does, they're out there yelling at me. You done that it. order? That's the fun part, though, I think, of, of mixed media. You know, you can just use products that, you know, even unintentionally use them in a way that they're not really made for, but it works. So well, I feel I like I can that. get, yeah, I feel like I can get away with it a little bit because um, I legit don't know any better. <laughs> well, I don't either on most things. All right. All right. Oh, we haven't done these little guys. Look at how it just, I know I antiqued this piece and it, didn't I? I did. Right? Uses your light. There's no right and wrong, Michelle P says. It absorbed right into it, you guys. That, that's that's that, right, Michelle. The gold leaf one. Nice. I don't know, though, because it doesn't show any patina now. You know what I mean? It doesn't have the... Interesting. Very interesting. All right, so let's try... Let's try you. That's not a stiff one. This one. I'm going to let you dry over there. I so talked to my pieces. You're fine. I like that we kind of went different ways on what were you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, totally different stuff. That was kind of unintentional. Whoops, keep hitting my mic. We barely noticed. <laughs> no, Pam, there's so many. We 
there's so many mixed media people out there. Um, asking who now inspiration of the soul. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, she's so awesome. Talk about inspiring. Oh my goodness. But I for like just... direct knowledge type stuff. Yep. There's mixed media girl. There's Amy Bishop. There's oh goodness. There's a ton of them out there. You guys go ahead and name some. And oh, from this group, uh, Debbie Kip. Amazing. Well, no, and I don't really do a whole lot of... Joanne does. I think Lucy does. Yeah. Um, that was interesting. Look, that's crazy. Look how old that looks, you guys. Oh, that is so cool. Now, that was having what as the base? That was... The Hobby Lobby stuff. Let me find the bottle. This, this base with this. Oh, I have that one, I think. Is it the, the patina one? stuff? Oh, my word. Look it. Look it. Yeah, it's patina base from, it's the Stamperia. Yeah. Yep. I got it right there. But it literally looks like crusty metal. If you just saw well, this. What did you put down first? The, the Hobby Lobby, this stuff. That one first, okay. Yep. And then you went over it with the wax. Yep. Yeah. And it literally looks like old, like an old um stopwatch or locket case. It looks like that's metal. Awesome. Oh my gosh. I need a hundred of those in my life. I like that. All right, let's do that little magic trick again. See if with a different color this time. So that's the ombre one. Do I have another color? Nope, that's I don't. One. I only had this one of this kind. Do you have any of these? Uh, some of them, yeah, but they're wax wax. I was trying to use like more paste and pigment in it. Yeah, this is Stamperia. This is going to be close. It's just another version of this one. So this one is the so the one I used was the patina. So then I have these two. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I think I'm going to mix the, the um I think I'm going to mix them. And then buff them out. All right, somebody tell a joke already. Huh? I said, all right, somebody tell a joke already. <laughs> <laughs> I figure when we look up and realize we're still here by ourselves, we'll know that we bored them to death. <laughs> oh, that would be funny. It would be funny. Oh. But not like funny, ha ha. It would be. <laughs> it would be would funny, be like, like oh, gotta go, Patty. We <laughs> were rude. Midnight. We were rude. Oh. Well, I'm liking the uh, so far. I'm liking the the gesso base better. I'm really, um, 
Yeah, I really like it, how it picks up, especially on the Pearlux stuff. Nice. Yeah. So at least I uh, found that one out. You know, I'm I'm usually when I when I'm crafting. Vanessa just mentioned how she's usually silent when she's crafting. You know, I don't know. I I always have to have something on in the background, so it's usually um, either music or a movie I've watched a hundred times. You know, but exactly. I don't really I don't really pay attention to it. You know, it's just noise, and I it's like yep. I don't have to pay attention because I already know. Right. Yep. So glad I'm not the only one that does that. Yeah. Everybody here looks at me like, haven't you already seen this 9,000 times? Yeah. I, and I always say I'm not watching it. <laughs> you know, you don't it's sit there and watch. watch. Yeah. All right. So there's what that looks like with those two. Very cool. Colors on it. And then I'm going to buff it out and see what happens. Now, do you usually buff out all of them? When you um, put the wax on? If they're waxy, yeah. Yeah. That's what's making it look like metal is the buffing. Wait till I hold this up. Yeah. Let me... This one went totally into that. I look like metal again. I like how it pushes it into all the little crevices. Yep. And I'm not gentle about it. So, like... Yeah, I'm usually pretty um just tough handed on stuff. I'm Is that how you handed, call it? Yeah. Heavy handed, yeah. That's pretty yeah. cool. I like that. That looks really good. Oh my word, look at how it makes it pop. That's very cool. All right, so now I want to put see it only takes me an hour to get there, you guys, but I'll get there. <laughs> Oh, no, are you kidding me? That's now awesome. I want to put some of this on there. Yeah, reruns. Yeah, I can't watch sports. Did you say sports? No, not sports. You're all on your own. Something there, about right? that whistling and stuff just doesn't no. let me concentrate very well. Oops, somebody just dropped something downstairs. Part of me wants to holler and see what it was, and then part of me doesn't even want to know. Probably better off not knowing ignorance. Probably. Is <laughs> Sometimes I feel like if I really need to know, someone will come tell me. Right. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got like all the metallics on it. Yep, we can see it. That one's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Very cool. I bet you guys can tell from our styles. One of us is more finessing, more detailing. What does that mean? You, you'll you fiddle with it more than I will. I just want to do like a big thing and I just want it to come together and I want to be like, ta-da! And you'll go over there with... Tiny little brushes and put in this color and that color. <laughs> nope. Oh, Just wow. Look at it now. And I know what I'm doing. Look at it now. Oh, my word. That is so awesome. So that's using two wax colors, right? I used the two wax colors and then came in with the patina. Oh, my word. That's awesome. How did you apply the wax with what? Um, uh, just a um, small um, regular it says brush. For, it says it's for fabric dye. Anything that's like a stiffer, like stencil yep. brush is what I use. Yeah. Because that's what I know. Because you got to, well, keep in mind, before I decided I was going to try to be artistic like this, I started out doing furniture. So I think furniture brushes before I do anything else. Yeah, so now I want to do all these labels, all of them, all of them, like that yeah, one. Yeah, those are very cool. 
There's only a couple, right? But I want to do all of them like this. And this one with all the pen nibs, I think would be really cool. Ooh. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that one's pretty. Let's do you. What are we going to put on you? Let's try. Let's try the yeah, Lots of little crevices that I could put some some stubs in. Okay. We're, oh, good gravy. I really hate it when you have things right in front of you and you hide them from yourself. Thank you, Joanne. <laughs> We're going to do some. I don't think it's going to be easier if I just. Okay, so there's. Nope. Is that your. Nope. Good. And I'm not the one that spazzes out about contaminating my colors and stuff. I wipe most of it off yeah. before I dip in. This is one of Patty's three-dimensional. Look at how three-dimensional that is. Isn't that cool? I love those. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me just tell you guys, I have gone all the way down this rabbit trail. And I'm bringing you guys along with me, whether you like it or not. Yay, well, we do. We'll see. <laughs> Sometimes enough is enough, you know? Nah. Ooh, this one's pretty. I like this one too. Needs more. It turned out really well. Needs more depth though. It needs more. I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to put on here to get like all the background mm -hmm. points missed. A little too pale, I think. She lost all of her patina. Not all of it, but a lot of it. Where's the camera? There we go. Nice. So what do we want to use? Let's use nope, your paint. I don't want paint. I'm too happy with my brush right now. It's losing hair. Yeah. I know they're bristles, but for some reason I always call them hairs. Because it looks like a hair when it lands on something gets stuck in something. Right? <laughs> mm hmm Let's put a little bit of this mica. 
Oh, I like that better with the red, the rusty, orangey, rusty color back there. Mm, brown. What do you guys think? Looks good. Or does it need? Mm. Ooh, they're liking your crown. Are you working on a crown? No, I think they're talking about you. The movie? I think they're talking about the crown, the show. Yep, I think so. Yeah, this show, this this episode should have come with a disclaimer. Entertain yourself. Hmm, let's see what it's the old silver, the one that is almost nope, that's not the one I want. What do I want? French silk. That's the one I want. Okay, it's looking a little bit more gold that I liked. With a burgundy. Nope, that's not what I wanted. I'm gonna let that sit and dry for a second. I need to mute for one minute. Oh my word, I was just gonna say that. <laughs> I've got gold hands, gold fingers. It's getting there, huh? It's looking a little bronzy, I think. It's getting there a different way. I'm sure out in my stash I have some kind of some kind of paint, but I'm gonna try to get that one from Hobby Lobby. I need that to soak in. All right. All right, my turn. Sorry about that. Did you need to mute or were you going to say that, Patty, I think you need to mute? Oh, she did mute. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you guys. We really did run off and bail on you guys. <laughs> no, we didn't. That's funny. Oh, that green is pretty. Look what the green did down at the bottom. Oh, nice. Yeah, I don't hate that. Hmm. One day I may actually have to admit that okay. I have to let things dry in between layers. <laughs> mm, it didn't sound very convincing. <laughs> it's not. Because the odds of me doing it are slim and none. Truth be told. Well, she's kind of gloopy right now until I buffer her out, but she's kind of she's got I nice, like her. Good job. She's got some kind of brown skin tone there. I really like. There you go. I like it, like it. 
So I hope she doesn't buff out like too much of it. You know what I mean? Did yep. your your wax stick pretty good? Oh, that's when, better. Look at that. I put some bronze wax on it. Way better. What are you what are you buffing it with? Um, just an old ratty towel. Okay. Like all my old I just don't want to take too much off, you know. Yeah. I think I need to let it dry a little bit first. Like I said. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. But I've got that perfect pearls underneath and you've got paint. True that. And like these ones that like in the metal, paint that look like metal. I'm wondering if because it's a clay base and I don't have that sealer in there. I wonder if I pushed the metallic into the paint and that's what made it come back more matte and metallic or metal. Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, I'm fighting the urge just to. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think mine's going to stick all that well. We'll see. This one, I want to do something to lighten her up just a smidge. Just a smidge. Smidgen? Yep. So to get just enough to lose that tarnish look. All right, I'll be right back. I think I'm okay. going to throw one out and grab a different one. Yep, that was just enough, I think, on that one. What do you guys think? You guys even see them? I feel like my camera is like so not focusing. I feel like I'm going, what do you think? And you're like, I don't know, I can't see it. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. Like, hey, Michelle. Michelle P. Yeah, me actually reading the directions is probably not ever going to happen. Good call, Michelle. Good call. It's not my strong suit ever. So I think I'm going to do the wax and then do the patina and see how it works in reverse order. Besides, it takes all the fun out of it, I feel like. Oh, good night, Vanessa. Have a great night, weekend. Vanessa. Happy Easter. Okay. I think my paint was too old. So I don't know that this is going to be the proper order of things because now I feel like this patina is going to go right in where I just put the wax, but we'll see. Hmm. We'll see. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I have to do, I have this project in mind. I don't have to do anything. I have this project. Um, Lorna was just super amazing and sent me a new um, set. So now I get to play with that set. Nice. Yeah. 
So I have an idea. Well, I shouldn't say an idea. I have a plan. Just got a plan. I got a plan. Oh, I do like it with the wax first and then the patina. Michelle's going to be like, duh. <laughs> the wax first and then and then the ombre stuff? Yeah, look. Oh, nice. Oh, I like that a lot. And that was the one with the silver. So what one did you put down first? The wax. Just regular. Okay. Yeah, like just any, I think any of the brands of wax would work. And then I did the paste, the patina. Right. Whatever that stuff is. It's more like a gel. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that one turned out nice. I like that. Nice. All right. This one looks like so goopy. It just looks very goopy. I think we're just going to go straight for the patina on this one. I think the next time I, now I don't know if it'll do it with the clay, but if I use clay next time, I do any molds, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to put a medium down on it. Let's see what happens. Well, that's cool. I like that too. Yeah, it's going to be all about coming back with the... dark stuff get down in there and as you can see I work really hard to clean off my brush <laughs> <laughs> that's it that's it. that's all the effort I don't have time for all that other stuff <laughs> nobody's got time for all of that And what I find, like, what's curious to me watching how you do and how I do and they're being so different, if I do it as specifically as you do, I get lost in it. Do you know what I mean? Because then I feel like I'm never satisfied. Well, a lot of mine have to dry before I can do, like, the next thing on it. I love how they're turning out. I just know me. Like, like I don't know where that enough is enough button is. Do you know what I mean? Oh, like, right. Oh, this is pretty. This is the one I did that copper on. And then I put this, the gold paste on. Nice. I like that. That really buffed out to some interesting little rose gold situation. Yep. That'll be a combo I do again. I like that too. Very nice. So this stuff, this was the Antique Mystic Turquoise. You see how it has like a... Yep. I like that. So that's down first.
Do on my hands. Mary, do you have a mossy green? Old white statues that have moss. And, ooh, that would be cool. I'm sure I do from all the fairy stuff. Be mossy. I might like do more try. I don't hate her either. Try the look of um things being halfway worn out, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. All right, now you sit aside and think about what you've done. Think about it for me. Think and make good choices, you know? Yep. Just go sit over here. There's that one. Nice, nice, nice. It's a lot of crud right under her chin, though. There, that's better. That's better. All right. Oh. Holy moly, how you doing over there, you? I'm doing good. Plugging along. Okay. How do you feel about wrapping it up and we'll come back again another day? I think that's a good idea. Okay. Yay. That was fun. I had a really good time. I don't think I would have, I would not have drugged this stuff out for sure. There's no, I think about it. I would not have. Yeah. I, um, I want to get some of that paint and try it. And I'm curious to see about what mine are going to end up looking like after some of this stuff dries. And yeah, I want my, I need mine to dry a little bit too. And then I want to seal them maybe and maybe do, but like you guys, no two of these are in my world ever going to be the same. Right. Not that it's a little bit of a problem or anything, but I'm just saying. In just a little bit of time, you very soon have so many that you're like, um, yeah. What am I going to do with all these things? <laughs> and I really don't know, but I know that I'm not done playing. Oh, my address is. Everybody's thinking that. <laughs> it's fun. You can repaint them to a degree. When you put the wax on them, though, keep in mind the wax is going to be a resist. So there's yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, I forgot my other one. I like how coppery she turned out. Ah, Louise wants to go buy more wax. Good job. Good job. Yeah, yours turned out really pretty, Mare. I no. love the butterfly. Yeah. Uh, yours is my yours are my favorite. I'm gonna definitely get some paints. It's kind of getting off of mine a little bit, but <laughs> I only have these because um of watching Inspiration from the Soul. And she, yes, she uses a <laughs> lot of these 
pent art things. Yeah, she does. So I thought I had to have them because, you know, it was two <laughs> in the morning. And so, yeah. you know, Google is a thing. You know, it used to be the home shopping network for people. But yeah. That's kind of stuff. It used to be mine. I'm trying to be more, a little bit more picky. Right. Have to be, you know. So you guys, before we go, just hang in there for one second. I just want to see how these look because I'm looking on my other laptop. I just want to zip in and see what the zoom. Yeah, put it on you. I like no, I'm those. not even trying to do that. I just want to see what the No, I want it up close. Oh my gosh. Yes, please. They're so bossy sometimes. <laughs> see, they look very pixely, fuzzy to me. Like the camera can't figure out what it's supposed to be focusing on. Maybe yeah, it's the metallics. On, I don't know. It does on the laptop too. So now I'm just kind of going to play around with the but there's like a frame rate and a um and an exposure button. So I'm not, I don't know what those are. So I may have to play around with those. Yeah, these don't look attractive at all. They just look very blurry. Like PD fix your connection. They look very you. attractive. You're very blurry. And I'll just bring them down here. So yeah, and I can't like this is the only way I can do this because I can get in StreamYard and play around, but they don't look the same on my StreamYard as they do on YouTube. So I have to actually be live to do that. They still look funky. Yeah, I'm going to have to play with it. Yep, going to have to play around with the camera. So you guys, I'll be coming on just as a testing the camera or help me focus my camera one of these days because I'm irritating. So, anyway, thanks for coming on, Mary. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. I like trying new things like this. So, me great. too. Yep. Thanks for hanging out with you with us, you guys. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Warning to anyone checking out Inspiration from the Soul. She's addictive. You guys will be watching her for the next. Yeah. It's it's so addictive. It really she's is. So good. She is so so good. Happy so. Easter, everybody. Yes. What Mare said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll be back Monday and we should resume as a normal. Yay. Yeah, fun new shop and stuff. So we'll see you guys then. Bye. <laughs>